Jeff, I know it's only mid-November, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I think the Rockets are for real. I think they are the surprise team that we're gonna see keep this up through the end of the season. Now this shouldn't shock everybody. Even with the losses of Chandler Parsons, Jeremy Lin, Omer Asha, Houston still had two of the top 10 players in the NBA, and they're making the most of those guys right now. The important factor here, they're getting it done defensively, just like they said they would coming into the season. Houston is second in the NBA in defensive rating. They were just 12th last season. That's how things should be when you got Dwight Howard down low, three-time defensive player of the year. James Harden so far following through on his promises to get better defensively. Trevor Ariza, the free agent pickup from the summer, is such an upgrade defensively over Chandler Parson. And here's the thing, Jeff, there is room for improvement here still. The Rockets are second to last in the NBA in turnovers, almost 20 per game. Playing well, could play even better. I think they're gonna keep this up. Sam, in the Eastern Conference, there are two teams off to surprising starts that I did not see coming. The Washington Wizards opened the season without shooting guard Bradley Beal, who is sidelined with an injured left wrist. But guard Garrett Temple has filled in and provided some key three-point shooting for the Wizards, and point guard John Wall continues to take positive steps with his leadership and continues to produce on the court with his scoring, passing, and defense. The other team is the Toronto Raptors. They were the surprise darling of the Eastern Conference last season, but they aren't going to sneak up on anyone this season. Raptors coach Dwayne Casey has done a fantastic job preparing the team, and they're being led by their top players, DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, and Jonas Valanciunas. Those are some of the reasons I believe that the Raptors and Wizards will be among the top teams in the Eastern Conference when the playoffs roll around in mid-April.